Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're unboxing today and look at this box. Really elegant. It kind of speaks that you're going to open into a really attractive dress watch, doesn't it? Well, you're absolutely right on that one. This is called the DT19. And yeah, it's really elegant. It's a uh, standard smartwatch, has all the goodies. We're going to see all that stuff. Heart rate and blood pressure. And it can tether to your phone and make phone calls. And look at this. This is really, really sweet. It's got a uh, metal band. Wow, it's all wrapped up in plastic. We'll have to take that off for you. Uh, single button here. Uh, very broad uh, bezel on here. So you're going to really know this thing is a watch. It's got a curve. You can see some of the moisture on here. It's called spherical. Spherical glass bezel. Wow. It's a port there for something. Let's look at the description about it. There's a button there, a hole, probably a microphone. And then the uh, heart rate monitor and speaker are right down here on the bottom. Where's it from? Bang good. Absolutely. They sent out the uh, Linwo DT19 Bluetooth watch. It has weather on it too. Cool. And of course, speedometer, speaker, all of that stuff. Does blood pressure. 1.2 inch. Here's the information on it. Uh, it's 240 by 240 screen, 260 milliamp hour battery, allowing it to do about a three day standby time. And all, over 24 hours, 30 hours or say, and of use time with this watch, and three hours to charge it, has all of these features built into it. Stopwatch as well, alarms, remote camera. Not waterproof though, it's a dress watch, okay? It's got a different app we haven't seen, Le Fun device. We'll definitely take a look at that one. I always enjoy looking at new apps and more about the appearance and details. Okay, you got a little charging cable that comes with it. It's a, uh, oh, it's it's a regular uh, micro USB. So this one you can plug straight into it. So you can probably use your charger for your phone on this as well. That's nice. So you could charge it anywhere in the car, at work, at home. Use this wire or use your own. Nice. And then I see some other goodies down underneath. It looks like a little manual. Wow. Okay. i got to get the insert out. Yeah. DT19 Smartwatch User Manual Version 1.0. Yeah. Talks about the configuration. Yeah. Those are all the things we saw. Some black and white pictures of the... Uh, facing on a key. Looks like your apps are all going to be laid out in a circular format on this one. More information about it. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's it. Warranty card and then Chinese on the other side. All right. Wow. I'm impressed. I clean this up, get it ready, and uh, we'll turn it on. Wow, okay, <laughs> here it is. Let's turn it on. Press the button, smartwatch, it says three, two, one. It just made a sound, and it's into its watch face. You want to know how to get this one for free? It's simple. Just buy the $23 band. It'll come with the watch. I'm serious. Look at this band. This band is incredible. It uh, it does a snap-on, hooky-through kind of thing like that. It's bigger than my arm. I'd need to take out some of these segments, which you can probably do on your own, or you can take to any jeweler that does a watch band adjustment in your area and get it to fit for your arm. Uh, Wow, um, it does have um, two different kinds of metal bands, and then I think you can get leather bands instead if you prefer that. And overall, it's a really nice watch. Look at that on. Very attractive. I am very impressed. Nice. Okay, let's uh, run through it real quick. Well, this is a good reason why you should be watching these reviews. Um, I thought this was going to be a pretty easy watch to review, but it's not. You're about to see why. 
First of all, let's take a quick look at the uh, installed watch faces. We have that one. We have a cute little analog uh, watch face here uh, with dots around the edge. It is an edge-to-edge -edge screen display with a rather large bezel that has 24-hour time on it. So if you're one of those that needs to track military time, this might be a good one because uh, you can always look at the hands and look at the bezel if it's afternoon. You can tell what time it is in the 24 hour and then we're back again when you swipe down you get to this page and that gives you the date bluetooth setting and whether or not you have sound on it does make a little bit of a beep every now and then in your battery level and any other direction that you swipe takes you to the app drawer and this is where it gets confusing you see we got three dots at the top here's the first app drawer you got these kind of things here, and you can see the title is, is lit up on them. Let me hit cancel on that, which is hard to hit. Uh, boy, this is where you're going to see me get frustrated. There's no dial to turn, and there's no easy way to navigate around these. You touch them, and it switches to another page. You just got to kind of hit and miss. We've got heart rate and blood pressure here. I wanted to show you that. When you tap into here, um, you can see the last reading of blood pressure is available. And on the app, you're going to see we can access that as well. And here's the heart rate information. Beyond that, then, you get into uh, a Siri, they call it, or the Google uh, Assistant. When you're tethered to the phone, you can use this to uh, access um, either of those on your watch, on your phone, from your watch. Uh, you've got a calendar, you've got weather, and so forth, all the way around a variety of apps, but it's a little tricky to get to them. Uh, phone calling, this is where you do Bluetooth phone calling. You have to be connected to your phone to do that, but you can do that. Um, and other goodies here. What's this? Another Bluetooth not connected. So a lot of this stuff, you have to have the Bluetooth connected for it. There's a power off. Here's a music player. Again, Bluetooth connected. And then you can play your music. And I guess we should be showing you that app here pretty soon. Here's the second row of icons. Um, here's sedentary reminders that you can set. Here's your minutes duration of sedentary. This is your calories burn and where you set your goal for your step count. Here's some uh, stopwatch information and your overall settings. Bluetooth settings where you can turn power on and visibility on so you can tether it. Uh, your overall watch face, there's four different ones. You can sync your time, date, all that stuff, or you can set it manually. You have your sound levels with ring only, different ring sounds and notification tones, and your overall volume level. They're all up to six, which is the highest level on here. Uh, beyond that, you got uh, your display, which you can set your timeout, which I got set for 60 seconds. And look at this. I'm on the lowest brightness. But folks, it's afternoon here, so the sun's getting really low, and it's almost too bright right now. If I crank that up, it would appear to be super bright. And it is relatively bright, but it's extra bright now because of the lateness of the day. Here's your international where you can uh, set the different uh, languages that are available for you. Your overall units of metric or imperial. Any apps that you install. Now these are not like Android apps. I don't know that there's any apps that work with this. And then here's the QR code that you scan to download the app I'm about to show you, which is a new one we haven't seen before. Resetting it and about. It's called the DT19, and that's what you'd look for when you're doing the tethering. So we covered the settings. Okay, um, that's about it. The rest of this stuff needs Bluetooth. There's your lost alert, your find your phone, all those kind of things uh, you have to be tethered to. You can add alarms and have alarms on your watch. And then the third page, we showed you the uh, heart uh, health. Uh, you got a calendar, weather, we talked about that. What's this, a calculator that you can do your basic calculations. Not very big digits, but it's readable. Okay. Then 
that's the app again and so forth all the way around okay so you got the three different pages of information in your app drawer and pressing the button takes you back here pressing and holding turns it off so let's take a look now at the app itself and see uh, what we're actually connecting to you ever heard of this one before the Le Fun Where? I haven't either. So that's why we're going to take a quick look. I got it installed. You open it. It will bring you in for searching so that you can tether to your watch. Once you've uh, tethered it, then you're connected. And it's a pretty straightforward thing. Takes you to the front page. Make that a bit brighter since it's black now. Um, all of this is your step count information for the current day, last night's sleep time, your heart rate and your blood pressure, last readings on this screen. When you come over here, you start to get into these other pages. Here's your pedometer over uh, the days, the different uh, step count accumulated. Here is your last night's sleep information in terms of light and deep sleep and so forth. And that shows up in this pie chart. Here's your heart rate information, and you can start the measurement tethered from the phone, right from the phone. So you hit start to measure, and the watch on your arm should go ahead and work out the blood pressure uh, reading for you. Same thing, I mean heart rate, heart rate in beats per minute, and then blood pressure in millimeters of mercury will also come in here. And this is for the current date, and you can change dates so you can see all of the different readings that you have. There's no ECG on this one. It's just straight um, heart rate and blood pressure using the diodes in the back. And that's the information screens you get in the first tab down here on home. When you come into sport, you can do a, your own sports tracking right from the app, worth checking out. Then, and that's all you have here per date, then you can come over here to your trends in steps, mileage, calories, okay, sleep time, heart rate, and blood pressure. And each of these then can be expanded or contracted as you, as you choose. So an overall trend page. And finally, your setup page for your parameters, uh, for all of your uh, different categories, the things you want to put in for your height, weight, birth date, user information, your device itself where you set your overall goals, your target settings again. There we go, my device. And it's not tethered now, but it would give you that information if it were. And then about, which is about this app, which is the latest version. Okay, so we're using this new app, Le Fun Wear, in combination with this new watch, the DT19 by Linwo. And it's available for you from Bang good. Yeah, we covered it all. I think we have. It's a 20 buck watch. Look for a discount coupon in the show notes down before and down below. Um, I like it in its overall look. I really like the band. It's a solid metal band. Um, it's attractive. It looks like it could be a good watch, especially for 20 bucks. The drawback is it's a kind of a small screen inside of a big bezel. Um, but when you get into the app drawer, navigating around these different things is kind of tricky. You got to just kind of hit or miss when you get to them. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit clunky in that regard. But the tethering to the app and the app itself look like they're worth exploring. So it might be a good buy. All right, we'll see you again soon.